Welcome to Azure Everyday with Pragmatic Works. My name is Awa Dian, and today I would like to talk to you about Azure Cost Optimization in Three Steps. The three steps involved in your strategy to optimize cost in Azure are define, control, and monitor. So define is about processes that you will put in place. Control is about tools in Azure that you can leverage for cost optimization. Then monitor is about um, getting gaining visibility on your uh, consumption, your usage, and billing. Now let's talk about the first step, the define phase. When preparing to migrate to the cloud, it is essential that you implement governance policies for effective enterprise cloud management. An effective cloud governance policy will define the process for resource provisioning. You should identify someone in your organization or a few people in your organization, organization that will have the ability to deploy resources. And you should also designate someone responsible for managing workloads in Azure. Your policy should also define the processes of budgeting, cost allocation, and chargeback, and it should enforce an asset tagging policy that will help you with the chargebacks and cost allocation. So you can mandate that each asset in your uh, platform, your Azure platform, has that needs to be tagged with the project it's associated with, department or application. Your governance policy should also mandate the use of metrics to estimate and forecast spending. Overall, cost optimization should be a well-defined strategy supported by your cloud governance policy. The second step of Azure cost optimization is control. How does your organization control its Azure spending? In this section, I will highlight a few of many tools that are available in Azure for you to take charge of your spending. Azure Advisor. Azure Advisor is a service that identifies virtual machines with low utilization from a CPU or network usage standpoint. You can decide to either shut down or resize the machine based on the estimate. It also gives you recommendations that I strongly advise that you act on as they can be a good source of uh, cost saving. Azure uh, Dev Test and Pricing. You should be aware that Azure offers a discount for dev and test resources. You can save up to 55% on non-production resources. You need to also be aware of their storage, uh, storage tier. Azure Block Storage Pricing provides premium, hot, cool, and archive storage tiers um, with several redundancy options. So uh, you need to make sure that you are well informed uh, on these options and choose what is appropriate for your project. Um, next will be the sizing of your VMs and auto scaling. Azure provides a wide range of VMs with different hardware and performance capabilities. Remember that you, you only achieve optimal cost when all your VMs are utilized at 100%. So the goal is to try to get to as close at 100% as possible. And feel free to try different uh, VM options to see what is the most suitable for your uh, project. Lastly, I will mention the savings that you can get by using Elastic databases. If you have databases on VM, definitely consider moving them to a PaaS model. In most cases, transi transitioning to Azure SQL Service will result in dramatic cost reductions. The last step in your strategy to optimize costs in Azure is monitor. As mandated in the uh, cloud governance uh, policy that we covered in the first step, it is very important that you use metrics and insights to look for any adjustments needed in your environment. Azure Cost Management is a free service that helps visualize and forecast costs and identify anomalies and find optimization opportunities. 
You can also use the cost analysis for budgeting and forecasting to proactively manage costs and drive accountability within your organization. Azure Consumption Insight is a connector of, uh, for Azure cost management in Power BI. You can use it to get a more in-depth data analysis, uh, and it also, also allow you to, allows you to create custom reports and measures to better understand and analyze your Azure spend. As I mentioned earlier, there are many other tools and options that I was not able to highlight here because of time. But if you would like to know more on this topic or in, on Azure in general, please reach out to use, using the link below. Thank you. Mm -hmm.